welcome to the new new space this is the first video that i'm recording here so still working out the kinks obviously so i'm pretty stoked about that but let's jump into this video this is a little little walk that i went on with this mg i got this mg and was kind of stoked because it was actually not broken and most of the mgs i've seen have been quite broken so i was like you know what i'll give this the benefit of the doubt i'll take it out on a little photo walk i'll shoot a roll through it and see how i feel so i loaded it up with a roll of arista edu 400 speed film it's black and white film it's pretty affordable and i usually use it for testing out cameras because i can buy like buy it in bulk and it's like five bucks a roll or whatever so that's usually my go-to if you are looking for recommendation and yeah this is the this is the walk video and then we will reconvene at the end i'll let you know my thoughts and you can comment your thoughts down below so we're out here we got the pentax mg okay i don't really know what the mg stands for i've never actually even thought i might have to look that up we are on our way to get coffee now uh, it's a beautiful, bright, sunny day, 52 degrees outside, so it should be the perfect time to grab a cup of coffee, take a couple pictures, and get a better feel for this camera. So yeah, that was that was the walk. It was really short. Um, it was a couple weeks ago. I just kind of went because uh, I was I was feeling like really agitated and stressed. So I was like, I just need to get out of the house. So I went, got some coffee, and kind of walked around a little bit. It was really nice. It was a beautiful day. Took the film like a couple days later, and I brought it into a local lab here and had them develop it. And then it took about two weeks to get it back. And I'll be honest, um, I hate it. Like, I just, one, the photos that I took were like not great because I think part of me was just like a rip through the roll and I just wasn't really in a creative mindset. So there's that to be taken account for. I just didn't really like the scans I got back. Like the images that I'm putting up here uh, that I put in the video, I had a doctor quite a bit. So I'll put uh, a side by side of one of the images and then the how I got it back. And you can just see the difference in quality <laughs> and like there's detail there so i was able to pull a usable image but i really was not particularly fond of of that and i don't think it was i don't really know what it was to be completely honest so part of me is like well maybe it's the camera but i don't think it's the camera i think it was the people that developed the film <laughs> but i don't know maybe they i don't know I don't know. It was the first time I used this place. I don't think I'll be going back. Uh, so that's neither here nor there. But all that to be said, really didn't lend itself to this experience. Like shooting this camera, I had very similar feels to like shooting the ME or the ME Super. Cause how I shoot the ME Super is just on auto because I cannot be bothered. <laughs> like if I'm shooting the ME Super, I'm just, ripping through it really the overall the experience of using it wasn't great like i wasn't like blown away i was pleasantly surprised at how much i didn't hate it but then i got the images back and was really disappointed so i guess that that's just par for the course um also i have upstairs neighbors now i'm sure you can hear them but yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. That's the gist of the video. It's not like the most exhilarating thing ever. 
I would, I'm gonna sell this because I don't need to have it, but I was just stoked to have a working one. I wanted to give it the benefit of the doubt, give it some time, shoot with it, see what I thought. Overall, it's perfectly fine. It's a serviceable camera. I wasn't stoked about the results, but I think there's a lot that kind of leads into that with where I was at when I was taking the photos and all of the other variables. But I do think it's a good camera. The other thing I wanted to point out was there was some instances in which the exposure seemed off. So I looked into it and it's a center weighted meter, which is interesting, meaning that whatever you're pointing at, that's what it's kind of metering for. Yeah, I don't know. I, overall, it was fine. Um, I was, I kind of enjoy taking something that I have like this, this vitriol for, this unfounded hatred for, like the MG. Like I've just, I've never enjoyed this camera. I, I, I never have. And, you know, walking it back a little bit and giving it a shot. So I, I enjoyed that process and I want to do that more with a few of the other cameras that I just really don't like working on. They're perfectly fine. Like this is perfectly fine for someone who wants to shoot it. I just, I never want to repair one of these again. Um, but I totally will because they're fine. I'm just, I'm tired of seeing this thing snapped in half, this like plastic piece. Like it's such a cheapy little camera. I really hate, I hate this so much. This like large dial. It just feels so cumbersome. And I really don't like too, while I'm just complaining, the bevel around the uh, advanced notifier there. Um, I just don't like it because gunk gets in there and you can't get it out. And also the ASA setting on here feels like clunky and it just feels like it doesn't work. And then if you lift it up, there is an exposure compensation thing, but like, okay, <laughs> what? I don't know. I just, I don't, I just don't like it. I do not like it. But other than that, like if you're not <laughs> really getting into the details of it like I do, it's a perfectly fine camera. So that was it. That was my experience with the MG. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. Uh, what do you think of my not great photography skills? <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching. Appreciate it as always. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel. All that good stuff. And I'll catch you on the next one.